It's not only robotic, that's the future of our software world. That would be a very smart um, recognition system and a name mapping system, artificial intelligence. Hello, Smart Bay community. I have great news for all of you. We are extending our regular contributor interviews. Now we will meet more often and discuss trending industry topics so that you are always in touch with the latest news. Subscribe to Smart Bear Talks. And today I'm happy to talk with Lina Tadras, President and CEO at AdvanceXD Corporation, AI and Machine Learning Architect at Solians, a test complete expert for 19 years and simply the person who knows everything around software testing. Today we will talk about AI in software testing, determine if we should expect seeing robots executing tasks in several years, and discuss the options of using AI in testing right now. Let's start. Hi, SmartBay community. Please meet Lena Tadras today. Hi, Lena. How are you? Hi, Tatiana. So good to see you. I'm so glad to see you too. Uh, many of our community members are familiar with you. Uh, when I joined SmartBay around 10 years ago, I learned Test Complete by watching your tutorial videos. You're an excellent teacher and trainer. Also, you have your own vision in software testing. I'm so glad that you're with us today. Uh, it's my pleasure, Tatiana. Thank you so much for having me. You're welcome. Let's talk about AI in software testing. Many people, including me, imagine robots when they hear AI. Those robots are as clever as humans and they follow the three laws of robotics, not to harm people. I mean, that's all that we know from movies. Should we expect robots uh, in software testing? It's actually a lot more than that. It's not only robotics, but it's uh, a lot more than that. Uh, it's about re really creating a model that uh, can understand uh, what people are doing and the, the hectic amount of information that you can have. AI requires a lot of data, significant amount of data. So when you give it so many patterns and so many algorithms, it can actually start predicting based on the past. Mm -hmm. So um, there is no fear of AI. Artificial intelligence actually is something here for, for staying and for the long term, and that's the future of our software world going forward. But it's not only on robotics. Of course, there's a lot of stuff happening in robotics with AI and machine learning, which is excellent. Mm -hmm. But I'd like people to think about AI, about training a model, to explain a model to a system uh, what the expectation is, um, and then let the system predict for the future and scoring the prediction for the future as well. And uh, how will it look like in software testing, your prediction? I think the future of software testing with AI will be amazing. I mean, we've seen with Test Complete, they just have added some uh, new OCR based on the Google Vision, and it's making things a lot better than before because in the old days, uh, we did actually have OCRs and test complete for a lot of years, but you are limited to what the OCR does this moment once you install test complete. Mm -hmm. But with the new integration with the Google Vision AI, uh, the system gets better every day. The more people in the world use um, OCR, the system will continue to learn and your recognition will get better and better inside of test complete for text inside of images or for anything else in PDFs and so on. So it gets better every day with other people in the world using the system. Amazing future. <laughs> yeah, go it, ahead. The, the future I would love to see from, from testing tools, not only for test complete, but for all other tools in the world, is to be able to understand how people work inside of test complete. For instance, uh, sometimes testing websites is a little bit difficult because uh, there is a lot of dynamic issues inside, whether using Angular or React or Vue. Some of the controls that are being created on the fly change names all the time. And we see a lot of people always complaining, saying object not found because yesterday was called something, today was called something yeah. else. Mm -hmm. And I would love to see the future of AI that will actually be a lot more intelligent about the structure of a web page to understand where everything is. And if changes of names, it would be smart enough to know, okay, all the other characteristics of the controls are the same, the inner HTML, the outer HTML, the this and that, the name just changed. So I'm gonna fly, change it on the fly to keep everything working correctly. That would be a very smart um, recognition system and a name mapping system. I think that will be the best thing for the future to save a lot of people out of time for recognizing the changes that happen from R&D. 
Amazing Future, as I said, I'm looking forward to seeing this. Um, is there a way their AI can be used in order to um, help testers work? I mean, maybe to decrease uh, the number of tests or maybe to decrease the time of the test execution, something like this. Again, by training models. I mean, the, the one thing is, if you have a lot of projects of a test complete, you can throw them all into a model and the system can actually start learning how your company does testing mm -hmm. by reading the structure of your organization project, for instance, the project suite, and understand how you like to do things, how to like to name your applications. So AI could, could actually save a lot of time saying based on the, the, the thousands of projects your company have been working on for years, you throw that at it, and then when you start a brand new project, it actually uses the similar structure that you are used to instead of having to start everything from scratch and creating folders inside of your scripts and keyword testing and stuff like that. So, yes, uh, AI can actually make people's life much, much easier and much faster and eliminate the, uh, the bottleneck of actually having to redo things over and over again. But as far as I understand, uh, this teaching process, so we will need to teach, to teach uh, the model or maybe the system uh, about our testing process. And uh, what I'm afraid of is that this uh, teaching process can take some time uh, and uh, most of the companies, they won't be ready to spend the time for this because uh, during this time they will uh, do tests instead of teaching. So how can this... It is an investment. Yeah, it is an investment. I mean, for instance, there is a lot of projects for AI that I work on right now, whether it's for the aviation industry or for the New York bus systems, for instance, and so on. Um, and it's not like you can give the system like a, a hundred flights delayed and then it can predict for you if the next flight is going to be delayed or not. That is not possible. You have to give it pretty much all the flights since uh, 1970. So it would have to be in the millions of flights that happen and then you can get a good prediction. But a lot of people think like giving something a small amount of data, they can get a good result as far as the prediction and all that stuff. But it's about investment. You'll have to put in a lot of data for the system to be more accurate as far as AI. How much can we rely on uh, AI in software testing uh, in the future? Is it will be something like, okay, if uh, this process works, uh, in this case, we believe that it works for, say, 80%, 90%. What, uh, how much can we rely on uh, involving AI in software testing? I think the future of software will require AI in testing because the, the software being written today for the next five to 10 years is actually counting on significant amount of data. And I don't think actually testers will have the time to test this even with automated testing without actually using AI to generate a huge amount of data to test these applications. So I would say to all my fellow testers in the world, it is time to actually start looking into AI and machine learning, understanding the concept of what it means, the difference between artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning, and understand the difference between all of them, and try to understand it in the future of testing. For you and for job security, you will really need to understand how to use models to be able to train um, your testing platform on being able to recognize things right away in your applications without you having to do everything manual. I mean, it's amazing that after all these years, I've been using Test Complete for 19 years, and now we, we, we are talking about automated testing and Test Complete being manual testing, <laughs> so uh, according to AI. So AI will, uh, will, will definitely be able to do a lot more and recognize a lot more than we can do with our own eyes by looking at HTML or looking at uh, code or anything like that. So the future is definitely the I, I recommend everybody to spend some time on it because it's the future. Okay, great suggestion, Sang. So Smart Bay community, please start learning AI, but do not forget to talk uh, about this in the Smart Bay community because I'm sure that AI won't change the real conversation which we do in the Smart Bay community. <laughs> I agree 100%. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks. Uh, thanks a lot, Li thanks a lot, Lina, for uh, this uh, conversation that was very interesting. Uh, community, if you have anything to add and it, or if you have any questions, please uh, post your comments under this video and uh, we will be happy to continue the conversation around this interesting topic. Uh, thanks, Lina. Thanks for your time.
Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much, Tatiana, for having me. I had the, it was a pleasure. Thank you. Sure. Sure. Thanks. Bye.